I heard you before speaking. Is it a dream? Is it <laughs> is a real? A is it a million D? What is life for Elon Musk? I find as, as I get older, I find that question to be maybe more and more confusing or troubling or uncertain. Um, I think particularly when you see the advancement of something like video games, you know, like say 40 years ago, you had video games, the most advanced video game would be like, like Pong, where you had like two rectangles and a, and a dot, and you're like batting it back and forth. I played it. Oh yeah, like me too, exactly. That's I played Pong. <laughs> exactly, it sort of dates you a little bit. But yeah, we, we both played the same game. Um, and that was like, wow, that was a pretty fun game at the time. Um, but now you can see a video game that's uh, photorealistic, almost photorealistic, and millions of people playing simultaneously. And, um, and you see where things are going with virtual reality um, and augmented reality. And if you extrapolate that out into the future with any rate of progress at all, like even 0.1% uh, or something like that uh, a year, then eventually those games will be indistinguishable from reality. They'll be so realistic, you will not be able to tell the difference between that game and the reality as we know it. Um, and then it seems like, well, how do we know that that didn't happen in the past and that we're not in one of those games ourselves? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, could be. <laughs> Everything is possible in life. I mean, there's, I mean, yeah, particularly like things seem to be accelerating. To some, to something. Isn't it? I mean, if if we look at our life, it seems in the past 100 years, life been accelerating quite fast. Yeah. In the past 20, it's much getting faster. Faster and faster. Is it more slow? So my question is really, how life will be in air 20, 30, 50 years from now? Our education, mm -hmm. our transport. How do you see it? Well, I think this is one of those things that's quite difficult to predict. Um, I mean, you think of, say, uh, I mean, the first controlled powered flight was 1903 with the Wright brothers. Um, and then 66 years later, we put the first people on the moon. I mean, that, if you'd ask people, say, in 1900, what are the odds of, you know, man landing on the moon, they would have said, that's ridiculous. Um, and if you talk, try to talk to them about the internet, they would not even know what the heck you're even, what are you talking. even talking about? Like, this sounds so crazy. Um, but today, uh, with a $100 device, uh, you can, you can uh, video conference with anyone in the world, uh, on the other side of the world. For, and if you have a Wi-Fi connection, uh, you, you know, just, you, for, it's basically free. Uh, free to have an instant visual communication with anyone, or even with millions of people. You know, with social media, you can communicate to millions of people simultaneously. Um, so, and, and you, you can Google something and ask any question. It's like an oracle of wisdom that you can ask almost qu any question and get an instant response. Um, it would have been incredibly difficult to predict these things in the past, even the relatively recent past. So, I think the one thing that we can be quite certain of is that any predictions we make today for, the, for what the future will be like in 50 years will be wrong. <laughs> that's, a, that's for sure. I mean, I, th I think directionally, I can tell you what I hope the future has, as opposed to maybe what it will be, because this, this may just be wishful thinking. Um, I mean, I hope we are out there on uh, Mars and maybe beyond Mars, the moons of Jupiter. Um, I hope we're, ex we're traveling frequently throughout the solar system, perhaps preparing for missions to nearby star systems. Um, I think all of this is possible within 50 years. Um, and I think that would be very exciting to do that. Um, and 